we spent two days exploring the natural beauty of Arches and Canyonlands National Parks, starting with a sunrise hike to Delicate Arch. After that, we explored many other arches, including Double Arch and Mesa Arch. Follow along to see how you can make the most of your trip to Moab. In order to get into Arches National Park, you need a timed entry reservation. It's really easy, but you do have to plan ahead. If you happen to be coming here on a whim like we did, you can get into the park before 7 a.m. or after 4 p.m. without a pass. And there are also many other hikes in the area that aren't in Arches National Park, including our favorite hike in Moab, linked here. Now on to the fun stuff. Our first day in Moab started off with a sunrise hike to Delicate Arch. The trail is 3.2 miles round trip. If you're going to do this in the dark, make sure to come prepared with headlamps and look for trail markers. We ended up missing a marker which added about half a mile to our early morning hike. Once we arrived at the top, we were greeted by a striking view of the Delicate Arch. We made it to Delicate Arch. In time. We got up at 5 a.m. and then hiked a mile and a half on not, not easy trails, but we've made it to the arch before sunrise. And it is beautiful. It is. Nothing you've ever seen before. Sunrise didn't really work out how we'd hoped. It was really cloudy. Uh, we got really pretty colors. Yeah. Um, it just didn't light the arch up. But the other side of the sky was beautiful. Yeah, it was very cloudy today, so nothing you can do. But still worth it. Still worth it to get there early. Now there's a lot more people there while we're on our way down. So it's just a crazy landscape. It's like a lunar landscape. It's otherworldly. Very cool. The arch is huge we'll put a picture in here we'll be in the picture to show how small we are compared to the arch yeah so we are at the petroglyphs right now it's my first time ever seeing petroglyphs they can be carved either hundreds to thousands of years ago these ones in particular are estimated to be carved somewhere around the 1580 very old Next up, we are headed to the Windows Loop Trail. So let's talk about how these arches form. There's two layers. This one is more porous than this one, so water will flow through this one and then get stuck before entering the bottom layer. And then water sits here and erodes the rock away, and eventually it spreads out and forms an arch. Go check them out. Greg just tripped in front of this little boy and we walked by and the boy says, Mommy, what did that man do? And she says, he tripped. And then she, he's like, what if I trip? <laughs> she it kicked off a whole educational uh, lesson for this kid in learning all about tripping. <laughs> Next up, double arch. Double Arch was my favorite arch in the National Park. I really enjoyed climbing around between the arches and looking out at the landscape from inside.
So if you can believe it, the double arch actually formed as a pothole from the top down and eroded through it, causing the double arch. Pretty amazing. We went here in early September, so it still got pretty hot midday. We went back to Moab in the afternoon for lunch and to walk around town. On our way back, we stopped at a few more pull-offs. One had a sign about fallen arches. You can see where the arch used to be versus what it looks like today. This is a reminder that the landscape is constantly changing. An arch can collapse or a new arch could form at any time. Once we got to Moab, we ate at Moab Garage Co, which we loved. The food was delicious. In the evening, we went back to Arches National Park. As we drove through the park, we stopped at Sand Dunes Arch, Balanced Rock, Fire Furnace, and Skyline Arch. In 1940, this boulder fell and shattered into a ton of pieces and fell from up there, doubling the size of this arch. We wanted to explore Devil's Garden and hike to Landscape Arch, but we decided to go back into Moab for dinner. We went to Bella Thai and had the best curry we've ever tasted. If you're in Moab, you have to visit Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. Canyonlands doesn't take a lot of time to get a good feel for it. We only spent half a day here and felt satisfied. The park is split into four districts, including Island of the Sky, the Needles, the Maze, and the rivers themselves. Island in the Sky is the most popular district and is the one we will be exploring today. The Needles is a great area for hiking and off-roading. The maze is by far the most remote area of the park. In order to access this, you must have an off-roading vehicle. Our half day here was spent primarily driving through the park and stopping at lookouts. We had been traveling for three weeks at this time and were ready for a relaxing day before heading home. We decided to start our day driving all the way to the end of the road to Grand Viewpoint Overlook. We then worked our way back through the park, stopping at various overlooks. As you're driving through, you can see the off-roading trails below. These roads were not originally constructed by the park. They were used by pioneers as roads to transport water and food from one area to another. Coming to this park has really intrigued me and I definitely want to bring my Jeep here one day to explore the more remote regions it has to offer. So it is 1400 feet from where we are standing down to the area with the Jeep trail and then another thousand feet down to the Colorado River. Our last stop in Canyonlands was Mesa Arch, the most photographed arch in Utah. The EC Trail is 0.7 miles round trip. We visited early afternoon, but would recommend coming at sunrise if you have the time and energy. After an eventful weekend, we headed to Salt Lake City, where Greg got to try his first In-N-Out burger. He described the burger as not overrated. Well, that's all for Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. We felt like two days was enough to get a feel for the parks, 
but we would have definitely have been able to spend more time here. If you are planning a trip to Moab, make sure to check out our video about Corona Arch linked below. It was an incredible hike. Jess has an exciting adventure plan for the next few weeks, so make sure you follow along for more adventures to come. Yeah. Which one are we doing? Delicate. Delicate. The delicate arch is huge. <laughs> yeah.